This is the video for lesson 16 on my website, Word Problems Involving Multiplication. As I mentioned in previous videos, many students have tremendous difficulty doing word problems. The way to get better at them is to do as many of them as you possibly can for more practice. In this lesson, we're going to look at problems that just involve multiplication. But of course, normally, you won't be told in advance what operation to use. And you'll have to read each problem carefully and look for keywords or key phrases that can help you. Let's take a look at these problems. There are four children at a party, and you want each child to have three cookies. How many cookies in total must you bake? Now, I see the word each. And usually when you see each, that implies multiplication. It means you'll be taking a certain quantity and multiplying it over another quantity. In this case, giving three cookies to each of four children. Let's keep reading. How many cookies in total must you bake? Now this is a bit of a trick. Many students, when they see the word total, they assume that they'll immediately have to add. And in this case, they'll just add 4 plus 3, thinking that they're supposed to total the numbers. That's not true. In this case, even though they're using the word total, the problem is still asking us to multiply, because there's a concept of a certain number of cookies for each child. That just takes practice to recognize that. So in this problem, what we actually want to do is 4 times 3, which is 12. And we could get that answer either by knowing our multiplication facts, or by using a multiplication table, or by remembering that multiplication is repeated addition, which means we could do 3 times 3, I'm sorry, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which equals 12, giving 3 cookies to each of the 4 children. But after all is said and done, the fastest way to solve this problem is with multiplication. Let's take a look at the next problem. What is the product of 8 and 7? Now, for this example, you have to know the definition of the word product. When we multiply, the answer that we get is called the product. So what they're looking for here is just 8 times 7. If they phrase the question like this, it means they're testing you to see if you know the, de the definition of the word product. If you think that it means to add the numbers, you'll get the answer wrong. Remember that if they wanted you to add the numbers, they would, they would have asked for the sum. Here they're asking for the product. So we'll do 8 times 7, and the answer is 56. And again, you could either get that from a multiplication table, or by knowing your multiplication facts, or by doing repeated addition, for example, counting by 8 seven times. So you could just say to yourself, 8, 16, 24, etc. And you would come to 56 if you did that seven times. The ideal solution is just to actually memorize your multiplication facts so that you can do problems like this quickly. This is just a very basic introduction to word problems involving multiplication in later problems involving other operations, and we'll go on to more difficult word problems.